Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student Studies. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through my study session where I am creating rough notes from a textbook. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to stay productive and effective with your studies. And also if you're looking into going paperless with your studies, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. I recently changed my PDF annotation application because the one I was using had too many issues that went unfixed for too long. So in this video, I am going to be using an application called Margin Note 3 on my iPad Pro 2018, the 12.9 inch one. So the first thing I do when I am taking notes is collect as many resources as I can. I don't like reading from just my lecture notes. I like comparing different resources, some textbooks explain things better than others and some textbooks have more information than others and I like getting the simplest explanations but the most detailed and another reason I use multiple resources is because some textbooks specialize on specific aspects of certain diseases for example on my iPad right now I have a textbook that focuses on just the treatment of different diseases when I come to study the part on treatment for my disease for the disease I'm currently studying I will use the specialist textbooks as my main resource for that section of my study. Once my resources have been added to my study notebook, I am ready to start learning. If you're interested in the technical side of using this application, I did a screen demonstration on my other channel. I will put a link to that video in the description down below. So when I am studying from a textbook. I am trying to find information according to the guidelines in my syllabus. I am also trying to connect this new information to things I already know from other subjects, for example, or from previous topics, which is why I find mind maps very useful when I study. This approach helps me to connect dots and see how new information relates to each other and it gives me a full understanding and appreciation of the topic I am studying and generally its position and place in the whole medical field. So I am basically gathering information from different resources and grouping it to make sense. I find this very necessary when I study because textbooks tend to have information all over the place. Like for example, during this study session, I had one of the textbooks that I was using to study arterial hypertension. They started talking about diagnosis of the disease before they even talked about what the disease is, its causes or its definition. So I find that it's necessary for me to rearrange information from textbooks. Here's an example of a mind map that I created during the study session. From this mind map, I can tell that arterial hypertension can either be primary or secondary and that the primary hypertension has precipitating factors, which are the things or factors that are likely to trigger its development, whereas secondary hypertension is caused by other diseases from different organs and different systems. So presenting my information in a mind map like this helps me to immediately understand and appreciate number one, the similarities between the two concepts and number two, the differences between the two concepts. And I can see all this at a glance. Highlighting is not enough to collect information from textbooks. Since I'm using a lot of different textbooks, I once I've highlighted some section or highlighted some information, I then read other resources and I add additional information and explanations. And this new information, I just write it in. Writing helps you to understand and it helps you to remember it's a necessary part of active learning. Another aspect of my study approach is research. So when I don't understand something, when the textbooks don't seem to have what I'm looking for, I search it online. When I search online for explanations, I just don't tap the first information that Google provides me with. So I have a few resources that I've grown to trust over the years. And in this particular case, I used Medscape, which is a great resource for medical students. And there are a few more others like Intranet. I use that quite a lot, but um, in this case, I used Medscape to add more information to understand what I was studying. 
So basically, those are the things that I do when I'm creating effective and detailed rough notes from textbooks. I hope you guys found this useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you guys think about this study approach and what other topics would you guys like me to cover on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.